Hello friends and fashion designers. This video is going to be about illustrating um, beautiful pumps uh, with the PVC uh, part and the metallic heel. And I will show you what range of tools I'm using to do that. I'm currently in the uh, sidebar shoe section. I will use these templates from the heels section. You can find it here. Let's open it and using this um, icon, you can actually disable the opacity on these two views and I will reduce the opacity on this view to start working on it. Click it again to remove it and this is the first layer that I'm using. Uh, let's use it for an outline. So I will take, I think a pencil of a black color and just outline the entire shoe. I will switch to the stitching line to add these elements with the stitches following the template so the cool thing is that once you have traced this template and save it on a separate layer you basically never ever have to trace it again because you already have this layer which you can um, drag and drop to the other project so I'm going to leave it like this and press plus to have one more layer. So I have a blank layer on top. I'm going to hold it and drag it under the outline layer. And I will think what is the problem right now. If this material is going to be transparent, then I will have to see this part going and extending towards here so I will go back to the outline layer stay on it and just add the invisible part which is going to become visible since the shoe is transparent okay so now I'm going back to this layer which is under the outline, okay? You can check it by using the eye to see what layer contains what. And I will color the part which is under because then I can layer the transparent part on top of it. So I'm going to have to switch to another tool and I will probably use marker and I will check for a color which is going to be this nude tan color to color this part and then I will just layer to um, shade the specific areas and make them darker and using this toggle I will just um, shift the value as well so there's always going to be a dark shadow in the place where material goes inwards meeting another material there's going to be a dark line in between Okay, I hope I'm not covering much what I'm drawing. I'm just trying to intensify this shadow. And that's all. And one more thing that I want to do is add a little texture to it. So I have two things in mind. You can use patterns um, or I will just take this watercolor brush. It's perfect to be used for that and just run around with this brush or uh, it's going to give like a little suede texture or 
one effective tool also is this marker which I don't actually use that much but it is perfect for that and I think I will opt for this marker okay I will actually switch to this marker with the darkest shade to add more to this shadow to really make it dark and I will take a slightly different color to color the soul I will take this adding one more layer on top of this so that I can cover uh, all this part but I will also switch to a tool um, I switch to this opaque marker so this is the part that I'm actually going to cover so as you can see the fact that it's under the outline makes me see the outline but the fact that it's on top of this makes me actually cover all the uh, parts where I went out of the outline here and make me be able to cover it because each layer that it is on top covers the previous layer so actually what they want to do is Cut it right here and start the metal heel. And I feel like the dark color which I previously used didn't do justice to the shadow to really emphasize it. So I'm deciding to go back with this marker and take a really dark color to, yeah, to bring it back much stronger. Now I can work on the metal heel and I need to stay on top of this layer but under the outline again so there is uh, a couple of great colors here in the hair palette so I will use them I will start using the opaque marker this middle value color So if I would draw a scheme of how I would paint the metallic part, I will start with middle color, middle value. I will take darker, um, darker color, reduce my brush size, add some shadows, more shadows, and do the highlights, including the very small and very bright beams of light like this this is approximately the idea and now I have to apply it to this shape so I will use marker to do that as I have a middle color I will switch to this and take a bigger brush size. I think there is no avoiding me going outside of this area, so I'll stop being careful from this point and just focus on getting the effect of metal instead of uh, perfecting this within this shape. The lines have to be straight to show that the, for the shape is made of a strong solid material. So I will just add shadows. And 
And now it's time to add highlights in this area. And the brightest highlights. So now I can mm, remove everything outside of the outline and see how it looks as a part of the design. I think it looks beautiful, but it needs a little bit of more of a hit of light and dark. So I will go back and what I will try to do is get even a darker color for the shadows. And the shinier the metal, the more difference between these highlights and darks you have. So you can keep that in mind if you really want a shiny metal, you need white and you need very dark. Um, again, I will take a white color to add a couple more highlights. Maybe even a few big like these. Maybe nice. So having fixed that, I can say that it's done. Maybe it needs a little bit of um, stretches of color because this finish very abruptly and sometimes you want to have this uh, soft transition so I can use pencil to add that. So you can take one highlight and just stretch it using a pencil. It can have a very beautiful effect. So I've maintained some edges um, sharp and some I might just reduce like this slowly and give it softer transitions. Okay, I will use one more layer to color this part and now we can focus on the PVC part. So I will have one more layer again. It's still underneath the outline but on top of all the other layers. And I will be using marker of a large size and I need to choose the color. So it, since it's transparent, the saturation of the color isn't very big, um, isn't very strong. So it's gonna be a hint of the color, a tint of the color, so to speak. Mm, I like this pale orange and I can as well check the other colors maybe i will use the purple and i need to basically feel in the entire area um, i am applying a very light pressure to uh, remain this transparency and somewhere I would just add a little bit more. And I need to add 
uh, reflectivity. So I will reduce the size of the marker and try to add some light accents. around the edges so it will have a wide range of reflections starting from soft ones uh, to more sharp ones and you can vary that using different sizes of the marker And the areas which are darker will be actually more saturated colors. So I will use this purple to add saturation to some parts. Okay, now I will use a razor to remove everything outside of the borders. Okay, so it does cover this part, so I have to keep that in mind. to add few details first of all I don't think I need stitching so I'll come back to the outline layer and remove it and I can fix some of the lines if I have to I think it would be a nice touch if I use the pencil of a very dark purple color to give a little more life to this drawing. Um, what I mean is give little thickness difference for the lines. It would really bring it to life like this. I think it needs a shadow here. And with PVC, it's important that the shadow has a color. I'll make this glass purple as well. And add a few highlights. It can be reflecting small areas of light. So you can add a few highlights like beaming light just stretching the dot you will have that effect um, I think this is good um, we just need to add the surface and that would be the layer that I will drag to the very bottom and I'll take marker, biggest size probably, and look for some gray color. Like this. Let's take a look at the finished drawing. I think it looks great. Um, thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, please like this video and subscribe to this channel.